Hey y'all, here's a quick video that shows you how you can do something that's kind of cool. Uh, well, this is my Hackintosh. It's got uh, Mac OS Sierra on it. Um, this is one of many operating systems on this computer. So like my Linux distros, I like to put the screen fetch on the uh, terminal. It makes it look really cool when it opens up. It's got the uh, distro logo and everything else. So what I've done is I've installed it here in uh, OS Sierra as well and uh, there it is on OS Sierra let me zoom in here so you can see it better and uh, so there's your uh, distro logo right and that's your Apple drag this over here to the screen where we can record it I found this uh, website here it's called macappstore.org and uh, it's how you can install screen fetch with this now what you're going to do is you're actually first you're going to install homebrew so you use this little command here so you open the terminal up and you run this line here and it's a uh, ruby or you, so what it does is it installs it installs brew okay so once brew is installed then you can use it to install screen fetch right here see brew install screen fetch and um, I'll show you real quick how it's done so all you'll do is you'll copy that that first line select it copy it come over here to your terminal paste right now I'm not going to run this because I've already installed it but there it is okay you'll run that and then after you get this installed that is the slowest delete I have ever seen <laughs> okay and then uh, once you have that installed then you just uh, brew uh, install screen pitch right and so then you'd install your screen fetch press enter and then let it do its thing and so screen fetch just runs like this right so when you open your terminal even after you install screen fetch it still looks like this because you have to type screen fetch and then it runs see So I got to poking around today and I found a couple of other cool things on this here. If you go up here to the top bar, terminal, right? Click on where it says terminal. And then you click here where it says preferences. All right. So from the preferences, you can choose one of these cool deals here, like what I've done. Because the basic is a white background and I don't know what else. But, um... It really wasn't much to look at but this this one here is way cooler looking so I chose the pro default all right and then on the shell here this is what's important just click here where it says run command at startup right put a check mark there and then type screen fetch and then that makes it where it runs screen fetch when you start the terminal and so you can uh, let me see here if you go to text right you can change your fonts and all that Right now I'm using a courier regular in the PDF selection here. Okay, I just found that it looked more clear than uh, some of the other selection. And clarity is very important in the terminal. When you're reading things or you're typing them out, you want to make sure you can read what you've typed because if it doesn't work, you have to go through and figure out why you, what you typed wrong. And you got some weird font where you can't tell what you're reading. That's not a good thing. Uh, uh, same is true with the font color. So I just chose white because it's easy to see against the black background, okay? But, uh, you know, to each his own, and that's why it's adjustable. So that's how you adjust all that, right? So once you've chosen this, right, you can, like, double-click it, and it'll show you a new window with, with what that looks like. Then you click here for default. But see here, let me show you something else here. Do command and either plus or minus or command and zero will take you back to your default size 
So by default, it opened up kind of like this. It was wrapping this text here. And so what I did to fix that was I dragged it out here to where I, I liked it. And also another thing, if you have it large enough, then when it first starts, it'll leave this text up here. So the easiest fix for that is to simply shrink the window down to where that text doesn't show. And then pull this out to where all your screen fetch information fits within the window. And you may have to adjust again to make sure that you're not wrapping anything like the, your, your video card information or any of that into here. So then when you got it to the right size, right? Uh, you can even zoom to a certain point. So that's a regular size and that looks good right there, right? But say maybe it's too small for your taste, which it is for mine. So you can uh, press command plus 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 and make it a little bit larger by default. All right, so what's cool about that is once you get it exactly where you want it and how you want it, then you go over here to Shell and um, use settings as default. So you click that. And then now the next time you open your terminal, it opens up just the way you left it. So isn't that pretty cool? So I thought that was worth a little video. Hey, I hope you all enjoyed it.